Yeah. What up, bro? Yeah. It's going going live. Going live. Oh, yeah. Do it live. We're live. Welcome back. Right on, bro. dude. How's it been going? What's been, no, it's been going good. What's been interesting to you these days? You, you've uh, posted a couple of things about that eyeball on that cathedral. Yeah, that cathedral is crazy. Huh? Where's that at? It's right. It's on Lake Merritt, like right downtown Oakland. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's right. Uh, my let me the street. It's probably like uh, 18th or some shit like that. Like it's like right on the lake. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. Fucking my buddy Trasco took me over there. Oh, right and, on. And yeah, he point he pointed out the whole like I'd never even noticed that uh image on there like i'd seen the building before but i never even looked at it really <laughs> it's like a negative of a pitch or like the shroud of um uh, what do they call the shroud that like, the, shroud of the shroud the shroud of turin yeah. yeah well it's like um it it uh it's some it's a rare image of jesus it's not used that much and it's yeah. actually it's but it was used in the uh shock chakra cathedral you know the one the big one fucking it's in france okay um it's an epic you know part it's an epic one um so it's you know there's connections there and it's really interesting how they did it it's like i i can't remember if it's like that's all aluminum and those are holes that are poked in there and that's like oh. the light that's the light shining through it from the inside oh, out wow and so when you're wow. inside, the light shines in. There's like all these tricks. Um, I was reading about it. They just do all these. <clears throat> they've thought a lot about how light gets in there. And right, right, right. Things. Like they thought yeah. a lot about that building, 100%. Yeah. And it's <clears throat> modern. Like they just, I, I, um, my buddies, uh, well, my friend's girlfriend's dad worked on it. Like they just, they was built in the 2000s. Oh well, it looks it looks pretty modern. It looks like I a, think it's like the newest cathedral in the wow. Catholic fucking okay. whatever. Yeah, yeah. And like, but, um, yeah, that <laughs> I mean, was a trip. Yeah, I mean, it got an eye on it. The top of it's an eye for oh, sure, totally. right? Is that yeah, what everyone says? Is that what it says on online? Yeah, right? and they yeah, and they admit to it. They they say it was based on like the viscous. Uh, or the viscia uh, piscis or whatever, like the fish, you know? The, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah. then also, the you know, the eye comes into it. Um, uh, Trasco was talking about how he he sees, like, the whole, like, female reproduction uh, organ mm. thing going on. And it makes a lot but of sense. You know, they, they even have... Stadiums, you know. Yeah, and there's like the uh, Virgin Mary, it's on the outside, even like just showing. Oh. But the whole mausoleum what? down, un so the mausoleum is beneath the main church hall, which is huge. So the mausoleum yeah. goes down and it's fully like cervix with the tube shaped. Like you, you walk in like, yeah. and it comes around like that. Did you guys notice it like your voice carried in there and stuff? Uh, definitely, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And fucking John Madden's in there. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From <laughs> uh, the, the Raiders. Yeah. Fucking okay. Madden. Um, I didn't even know. We were just walking through and I was like, holy shit. I'm like, John Madden. I'm like, it's got to be him, you know? And it's like, he just died. Like, it's less than a year ago. Almost a year, exactly. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's random. where he buried his body or just like his plaque? I mean, I, I guess... I don't know what if his body's in there or not. Yeah. But I'd like wow. the first the first bishop of Oakland is buried in there. Like all the okay. like all the bishops oh. of I, I think of Oakland, I can't remember, are all buried in there. And the interesting thing too is that the church replaced um the previous church the fucking cathedral of christ of light whatever catholic main church it was destroyed in the 89 quake okay and it was a gothic yeah. it was a yeah. gothic fucking cathedral full on and it was was that was the that cathedral like close to the public after that or, or torn down brick by brick yeah and someone else? no it was, it was torn down and they re they built this new but i don't think it was on the same plot 
It doesn't oh, seem okay. like it was on the same plot. I haven't dug too deep into the previous cathedral yet. Well, that, that's kind of like where it's at, right? Where they moved. Yeah, Because you know totally. they just didn't, they just didn't go, hey, these bricks are for sale right now. Does anybody want it? No, know? totally. And, and then the and weirdest like, thing, yeah. totally, yeah. The weirdest thing, too, is uh, when I was looking at it on Google Maps, like what, the you know, how things pop up, the business that popped up right next to it was the Orion Renewable Energy um, <laughs> uh, company, yeah. you know? And oh, it's what, just what like... What was that thing that you you also posted that interesting thing of like uh, now that you mentioned Orion like the uh, in San Francisco the way they made uh, the Trans America Building Court Tower. Oh yeah, no, I just uh, I just sent that to you. Oh, you did right now. Well, no, I uh, I just texted I texted you that I didn't post it. Oh, oh, you didn't post that. Yeah. Oh, that I, for some yeah. Uh, that the, that's another thing. Uh, my buddy Trasco made that fucking thing after we saw the um, the Orion. Uh -huh. I mean, the, yeah, the Orion thing. Let me see if I have it. Uh, that's pretty interesting because it really yeah. does kind of have the same kind of spacing going on, but almost like yeah. But it's kind of it's flipped. But I didn't know. Here's some. Uh, yeah. Fucking. I can't find it. Let me try. But yeah, it, um, so yes, um, what we're trying to talk about is, oh, right, yeah, I mean, dude, so just to go back to the Orion and the renewable energy, I mean, I know they, you know, they harvest all energy sources, you know, right. and they definitely, they definitely harvest our human energy in multiple, multiple ways. Um, and it was just interesting to see the renewable energy um, yeah. thing. Orion. And Orion, too, you know? Yeah. Okay, of let me course find... it has to be that, right? Because that's what it all is. Totally. Everything's, they, they, you know, the whole, the whole mapping of that particular angle. I don't even know. Is that like a, is that kind of a triangle angle or triangle? Of what? What are they, isosceles or something? Of which one? Um, the Orion, the way that it kind of goes. Oh, it's it's a, uh, like the three the three um, stars in his belt. Yeah, yeah. That's like the. Uh, yeah. The, that's the how the pyramids line up. I'm still trying to fucking get this thing to come up on the. Uh, Almost like an arrow. The computer. Yeah. Um, All good. Yeah, no, that's interesting, man. Yeah, that was just, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a trip. It's yeah. definitely a trip. It's so in plain sight. <laughs> and th there's a weird quote on the Wikipedia, or not a weird quote, but a very interesting one where whoever the fucking bishop or wherever, he's like, you can go to Europe to see a Gothic cathedrals, or you can come to Oakland to see this. <laughs> it was all hardcore about it. Yeah, that's like pretty fine. They're proud of it, man. They're proud of it. When was it completed? Um, like fucking. Let me see. I got it here on my phone. This, this stupid shit ain't fucking loading. Um, like it fucking two thousand fucking ten or some shit. Oh, okay, so it's a, it's a while back. Okay. Oh no, All so right. they, uh. Oh yeah, they broke ground 2005, and then uh, this is a trip. Um, uh, so it was, it was dedicated on September 25th, 2008, and then on All Souls Day, November 2nd, the mausoleum was dedicated, and the first bishop of Oakland was reburied in one of the crypts. <laughs> oh, they, they dug his ass up and then yeah, and then yeah, that's buried right. him. That's and pretty, that's on that's, All Souls Day. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty cryptic. You know, like all oh, you're like your final resting place, and then they're like, "Oh, dig them up, put them in a get them right. over there." Yeah, <laughs> they love doing was, that. Was shit. he like was the first bishop of Oakland? Was he like some special bishop or something like that? I think you um. Floyd Lawrence begin. 
I, I didn't I haven't looked into him yet. Yeah. This guy has some kind of significance. I mean, like oh for sure. For sure. The scheme. Okay, let me fucking since we've been talking about it. Oh my god, dude. I can't fucking get that fucking pyramid thing, dude. It's all right. Whatever. Yeah. Well, what do you what's up with you? What you been doing? Dude, I mean, I've been like, my mind's been like totally wrapped around the MK Ultra thing for like a month now, you know, like I've been mentioning like, and then in recent, like the recent stuff that's happened with Kanye and then, or Ye, I don't know. And then his, uh, his ex handler. Mm -hmm. Did you ever, did you follow that story? Um, I don't know if I did. So there's like this guy who is a, uh, he's from Canada and he has, his client list has like everyone from here to like Telemazoo, everyone. Like ones that stand out to me would be like Seth Rogen is one of his clients. Huh. Uh, Will Ferrell is one of his clients. Uh, this is his wise, Like Amy, Amy Schumer is one of his clients. Uh, um, actor. And this is one of his, re this is like his recent handler. Yeah, this is this was the guy that said, like you know how he's been putting like uh, he put him on blast for a while saying, oh these are the texts he sent to me about like uh, you'll never see will like drug you out to to and take away your kids or something like that. But I don't know because I don't really have a Twitter and I don't follow anything on Twitter. I'm so, pretty. Uh, I just dude, I'm pretty fucking clueless to this whole thing. I yeah. barely paid attention, so yeah, just you could explain yeah. it, but just explain it all. And I'll, you know, I'll, okay, yeah. So, anyways, um, the MK Ultra thing, um, you know, and then I guess uh, Kanye went on to say what he's been saying, like, but it's all in the news cycle over like the Hunter Biden stuff. You know, it's like I, right. lately my mind has been like wrapped around like that kind of news. Right. So, so, you know, I mean, for uh, sure, like I've always felt like, you know, when there's some shit going on like this, which is just a crazy distraction has right. all these, yeah. all these fucking normal exactly. Joes, you know, up in arms and freaking out about it. You know, right. that's when you got to look in the fine print of all this, exactly. you know, the shit exactly. to see what's actually going on, you know, like it's full that's right. distraction. That's right. And, uh, you know, the, uh, that Balalansa or whatever, that, that clothing line, the thing that happened yeah. out with that, it's all, it's all really connected. And they're all like, they're all just tools now. Right. Like the more and more that's like the more and more things that are coming out about the people making it and doing like getting that, that level of influencer and stuff. It's just been really like on my mind lately, like, Almost to the point where it's, you know, it's like a psyop upon psyop, you know, absolutely the whole thing. And so, um, just I haven't had really that much time to dive. And, and dude, especially with like what I've been uh, making at the house and doing that stuff, it, it's like it's so apparent to me, you know, like, uh, like because like you know my mind's been on like a different level lately with that. So. Um, I, it's like I can like see right through it in a, in a way where, you know, even anywhere you go, even like everyone's making like a joke about it, but it's just at the exact same time. It's, I don't know. I feel, I feel like it's the same playbook though, that has always been used forever and ever. Right. Like totally. I mean, that's the thing is fucking, they don't, they fucking have it so figured out. They don't even have to change the playbook, dude. You know right. what I mean? Well, because it's like, <laughs> Or they don't even exactly. have to change the play. Like they just keep no. doing the same play. And it's like, dude, like why stop something that's uh, still working, you know? Or just because <laughs> it, like, it just kind of gives them the, enough, like, just kind of like the rope it up. It gives them just enough time to slip out. You know what I totally. mean? Slip totally. out of it instead of just like, and I think that's like the kind of the thing ab about it that's just been on my mind i'm just going there's no way they're just they're so slippery they're slippery little like controllers man totally i mean you know 
fucking all these people are all puppets and whores. Yeah. And like that, you know, the sell your soul to the devil thing, like I mean, it. You might not actually be face to face with the devil and literally yeah. selling your soul, but like you're mm-hmm. selling your soul for something, you know. Like, and these people pay the price. Like, fucking, dude, you pay the price for that when you sacrifice. Like when you see pro athlete fucking selling McDonald's, like, right? That motherfucker is a whore, and fucking, right. it's like, dude, come on, you know. Rob, yeah, Gronk- but- Rob Gronkowski sells military health insurance. Like he can't even, he's not even eligible for it. <laughs> like yeah, that's but how, he's also, you know? <laughs> also super rich too. So what do you even, like, you know, you're just like. Exactly. Like, why yeah. would you have to do that? But, you know, fucking, that's the thing. Like, in, in order to get to that level, like, you have to, like be compromised like it's almost like it guilty to be. like you know like because he has an agent and he's like oh come on man Gret, come on Gronk, just do it you know and then totally. he and, like a- and fucking dude most of these guys probably don't even think about it that's the thing they just do it you know they, they have yeah. them they have them so twisted up like you have to stay in the public eye you know in order to fucking stay relevant blah 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 like all this shit you know fuck them yeah and dude didn't didn't Oh, that's right. And he also, dude, he, okay. So he also, there's this movie coming out where like, there's like these three old ladies. I mean, and it's like Rob Gronkowski's in it. And hmm. so is Tom Brady. And it's, it's, it has like Sally Fields in it. I can't remember the other two actors, huh. but they're just, there's like a, it's basically the Golden Girls kind of like scenario where there's like one slutty one. There's one, right. just, there's the one that's like always, doing the zingers there's the one that's compassionate and rob gronkowski's in it dude gronk's huh. in it as like the sex boy dude yeah and you so know. like i'm yeah totally. and when like, i seen it like when i saw that uh i went and saw that movie uh the glass onion which is a pretty good movie um for all the other shit that's on been out but i'm like ah dude because i actually do like going to the movies you know mm-hmm. like when it's when it's raining and you go, but yeah. dude, I remember seeing this movie's preview and it like literally like, you know, Sasha was like, all, oh, cute. And I'm like, disgusting. It's gross, <laughs> man. It's like, like, you know, and I said it out loud because like, I'm like, I'm like that big, like, you know, like if something seems so cliche in the movies, I'll be like, Simpsons did it. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, I'll, just say, I'll just say something stupid like that, you know, to like just bug people. Yeah, I and, could be uh, the worst person to watch TV or movies. Ah, dude, I'm like terrible. But like, uh, I'm just like after I seen that, uh, seeing the movie, I forget what it's called. It's called like something like a. They had like a lifelong dream to go to the Super Bowl, right? And it's just, mm-hmm. I mean, you could like, I can't even. I don't even remember the name. I don't even want to think about it. But <laughs> like, it just like the the minute like the preview got done, I was just gross. Yeah. Gross, you know, like she's like, oh shit! I'm like, come on, this is grim, dude. Like, oh, I, I was mean, about these, these it, they get, they get fucking, um, what do you call it? They put the horse collar on them out. The they blinders. These, yes, and it's just like you bring out these people, and it's just like he's just supposed to be like this, like dude that alludes to like humping like old ladies or something. It's just like, dude, you're better than that man totally that's the thing man if the, if anyone had half a conscience right like what you know like or could make I a mean, decision dude, themselves. you know yeah. it's like you know yeah or could make a decision themselves that's the other thing is like we were just talking about these handlers and these agents yeah. and all these people they're like they're the ones fucking you know they're puppeteering you know directly to the person you know they're the closest yeah. puppeteer to them right you know uh but you see that but you can see like the people that don't have uh quote unquote handlers around them they always get super thrashed right so like if you have someone like let's say who got thrashed well alex jones got pretty thrashed um but like i mean you're gonna get thrashed if you get to that level dude they're gonna thrash you they're going to thrash you to the point where they're like, oh, now you have to have a handler. And this is how your handler is going to tell you right. what to do. Right? Yeah. It's like that. It's, you know, yeah. Totally. It's like and that. everyone has dirt, you know? Yeah. And they find well, the dirt. Does. And everyone they find has, like, it, dude. 
Yeah, it I ain't mean, that well, hard. Who was that quarterback for Pittsburgh? Ben Roethlisberger. Oh yeah, Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so it's like yeah. you know that that stuff was out, and it's just like, oh, go back to work, dude. We take care of it for you. Dude, yeah, no fucking people forgot about that shit. Yeah. And Same you know, with like, uh, fucking uh, Kobe too. Yeah. I mean, have you heard all the weird? Have you heard all the weird connections to Kobe and like, uh, and all the like weird stuff to the uh, what? What is it? It's a. It's actually a medical company in Oakland. Yeah, the pharmaceutical thing. Yeah, yeah, I remember hearing about that. You know, that was that was like Bishop Larry Gators though, popping off about that. Totally, and I don't know, like, what was up with that guy? Is that guy credible or fucking? Well, he, dude, he's obviously, I mean, closeted. he was, he's obviously closeted, like, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, but didn't him and, uh, him and, uh, fucking tinfoil hat had a falling out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. They? Yeah. Yeah. yeah or he turned, big, he turned on him or some shit. They, yeah. Like, they, they, yeah. You just used him for like, you know, uh, just, yeah. Cause I, I dude, know, I like, think I searched out his regular videos and it yeah. was like, I feel like it was a lot of re- just religious stuff you know like it and the yeah. stuff with the stuff on tinfoil hat was like very few and far between of anything he actually like produced or whatever yeah i mean he's could, he's what he's wild man like, <laughs> so, dude those I episodes mean, are great were great fucking they were fantastic good. i mean like yeah. he's like but to me he was always just kind of like you know like uh kind of flamboyant and all that kind of stuff which always like I'm always just like yeah okay cool like cool but like mm-hmm. you know like what are you selling you know so when it all totally. came back around I mean I don't know what happened except you know ex- except what they say like one day they like they checked their uh, um I don't know something their Instagram or some kind of something and they he had blocked everybody and called them Satanists or something. Mm. But, uh, you, but that's, all, that's all projection. That. All of it's projection, dude. Totally, man. I, you know, like, um, so. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if Larry Gators focus. is a, a Satanist, but he seemed to have a lot of information, and because I think a lot of these people get pretty scared, like once they start going at it. You know what I mean? And oh, for sure. I mean, start, you know, you start. Yeah, I mean, you definitely cross into some fucking uh scary territories of like i mean when, i mean, I mean, when, I, I, oh, I, hey, I mean of like you come across like gnarly people fucking you know what i mean right <laughs> people yeah people we talk think, about i think in his in his case i mean they're all they're all protect they're like that al sharpton protected kind of like person uh the jesse you, you know jesse jackson maybe might have been protected too but uh, i mean i think uh the uh, information act, you know, like it just comes out that they evolve. Like it's like it's like the Dalai Lama's on the CIA payroll, by the way, and oh, twenty man. of it, and twenty of his highest people, you know. And I think that was released in a in a in a CIA like public domain release of info. Right. But, so who the fuck is know, the actual Dalai Lama then? Um, I don't know. I have this the crazy Dalai Lama. book. Uh, the, the CIA it? and the cult of intelligence. Is it backwards right. on your shit? Yeah, I got it. I can see it. Oh, okay. And does it, what does that talk? It just talks about a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. So it's from, uh, it's from 74. Okay. And um, yeah, it just gets into the uh, propaganda, espionage, fucking controlling lots of stuff about just gaining intelligence <laughs> but it they've been cool. doing yeah i mean yeah dude book in that's the one thing with mk ultra like it's so deep it's so deep but like so simple at the same time like you, i'm basically like once you know that there is one MK Ultra project, you know, then that should be the gateway to never trust the fucking government ever again your entire life. You know what I mean? 
And there's so that it's like such a goes so deeper than that. And also the other simple thing is that like they learned at least according to their book and the story, like in the fifties or whatever the fuck it was, they learned super quick that all, it took like 24 hours to break fucking just about everyone. You know what I mean? And right. so like they've been able to break anyone at least, you know, according to the narrative for fucking 80 years now. So just think, just think of what they can do. You know what I mean? There should be nothing should be off limits. That's not, you know, the Dalai Lama is paid CIA. Yeah. Fucking that's not even surprising to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like everything is controlled. Fucking everything is controlled. Controlled. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah, I'm like, dude. I'm like, not, and that's what's so, yeah, that's what really has been getting to me lately because of uh, I, well, basically because I've been pretty isolated up until this last weekend for the last month because I've been kind of just working a lot, but like, um, yeah, getting so your winter, that, that, winter snuggles in, dude. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it was like, there was that, you know, like once you become ice, like, I think, you know, covid being what it was and and everything like um you know and uh there's because i remember the first like two weeks of the lockdown like how mm -hmm. how fun the internet was again because there was there was there was really like no one watching like it was like you were on like a cruise ship and it was just like you, then there was like every like dude like it's like some of the videos that i had like in when I had uh, had my password and everything for my YouTube thing, like um, I was just like, oh wow! And then I hit the history button, and dude, it was like pages and pages and pages of like stuff that like basically had been memory hold. Hmm. And I was like, whoa! I remember that. I mean, back to like like music I was looking up, and I remember for like the first like month, two months maybe. It, it took them like about two months to catch up to having like having a total control of that part of the internet again. And then slowly everything became like, like sucked back into the memory hole op operation where, Oh, you're not allowed to see this no more. Da, 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 da. You know? And, and right. just that, just with, just within that two months, I remember just kind of like going back to all the things I've watched and uh, all the things I was interested in. And it was like really cool how it just kind of cataloged everything. And I remember, dude, it was like, cause like how long have you had a YouTube? Um, well, like the Golden Gate Starport Command is fucking maybe a year. Oh, I mean, I mean like since you've been using it. Oh, I mean, I don't even know since the beginning, yeah. man. Yeah, I used to so, I used to fucking yeah. search fat kid falling and just <laughs> die, dude just die for fucking hours just shit like that fat kid falling dude they're fucking, yeah like hitting oh, the dick amazing with amazing yeah oh dude there's so many there there's so many of fucking fat kids riding bikes and breaking yeah. their arms and shit yeah 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 uh, that was uh, fucking back then that was just amazing yeah so like all that all that what was like kind of like filtered through came back and i remember just going man like i I was interested in this and it kind of like, it kind of brought me back to where, um, you know, cause from the very get go, from the very first part of this, like now two and a half years ago, three, three years now, four years now, 19, whatever, three, which is dude. like kind of like three years. Yeah. So, but that's when I like, I was like, you got, you guys know, this is not, real right you know the stuff that was being played on tv was like stock footage oh, of dude, like just fucking... something else that was happening but they just put the headline was like the doc like and then you like you would go and see like um uh, oh the hospitals are going to be overran all this yeah stuff. remember this and dude, you would yeah. just and you could drive around all night long to hospital hospital and be like there's nothing going on here nothing totally absolutely nothing's happening and so yeah i knew i knew firsthand because my homie's um girlfriend was in the nurses union in socal 
And okay. she was she was given reports all the time that the fucking yeah, what, place was, was completely saying? completely empty, dude. Yeah. Completely empty the whole yeah. fucking time. Yeah. She ended up and quitting because they were tr- they were making her uh, do the thing, and like uh, a bunch yeah. of them, a bunch of yeah. them bailed. Yeah. No, I mean like kudos, man. Kudos. Totally. Yeah. Way to hold your ground. And like, but yeah, um, the, yeah. Remember the body bags in uh, New York? Yeah. And the people would be moving like all <laughs> yeah. cigarettes. And shit, you know? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, it was it was stupid. And like you know, like. Uh, I remember like within the first two weeks, I have a family member that's a nurse in San Jose and, and I'm like, I'm all, how are things going? She's like, oh yeah, well, and she's, I'm all, you guys got masks and stuff, you know? Cause I was like, yeah, you, you, you might have to wear a mask cause you're in there. Cause you know, you, you, you talk to them and they're like, oh yeah, the masks are all gone by the way. They're all gone. I'm like, well, what happened? And she's like, oh, everyone, every person that works here stole every last <laughs> bit of it. Dude. Amazing. Like, the 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 doctors the like janitors they they just went right into where all the storage was and stole them took them to their family like it's like yeah first responder you mean you know what i mean so it was like you know and then when it started getting down to like you know other stuff i what, what i'm trying to say is like i knew from the fucking beginning dude like i'm like oh this is this is because you know there might've been a bad flu going around and like, I might've had it like in December, dude. Yeah. I, I got something yeah. in December also. Like and a was, bad one. Yeah. I've been quit smoking for like fucking three weeks. Yeah. And I was hawking up the algae, bro. You know, it was like the, nar- the gnarlers. <laughs> yeah. It was algae. It was just like, dude, it was like something you see floating on a, top of a swimming pool like that didn't get cleaned or something like that the filter broke or something but like brown, you know i still like floor. you know i still went to work and i was like haggard as hell but like you know like that's where i was at it way back then and then when all that stuff came back it just kind of like it opened up my mind to like getting rid of netflix like and just kind of like you know like get now you know dope sick remember that movie dope sick with like with uh what's his face keenan you know, Batman, what's his name? Mike, uh, Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Michael Keaton. And I, I was just seeing, like, all the stuff they were crowbarring into, like, the message into, you know, like, oh, you're 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 in a town in the middle of Pennsylvania or wherever they're from, West Virginia, and, like, the boss of your mind is a lesbian black lady? And that, I mean, that would never happen. That's a movie. Yo, it's in Dope Sick. Oh shit. Yeah, is it? It's yeah. That's the, and I. That's I kept like on going, 90s. What? Yeah. No, no, no. It was uh. It, it was just like maybe last year. Or two, oh fuck, or maybe dude. Two. Yeah, no clue then. I, I yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. About. So like, uh, maybe <laughs> it was a, like, and it was basically just basically what they re- basically that movie was just supposed to like, um, expose like the Sackler family for creating like. Uh, oxycontin and then just showing hmm. it and like incentivizing like the pharmaceutical companies into uh selling you a highly addictive heroin heroin oh. you know and then um so but all that news was already like out there since like 2012 i think maybe even totally, man. You know, i remember people were they're way and, behind on it yeah they're like years and i, I remember people were just like they were like i'm I, I just had, fucking I had just years seen, ago. Yeah, I just I had seen so many people just so rigged up with that stuff that like, you know, like people that you wouldn't even expect, like, well, like, oh hey man, like uh you went to the dentist, you're like, oh yeah, and they're like, oh, did you oh, kill you any fight in? You're like, oh yeah, the, uh, they're like, oh killer, you got me, and I'll be like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. But I didn't I even you know, but even doing just doing that, like, you know, you're just like you're thinking to yourself, you're like, oh, ah, ah, yeah, I guess these are cool, you know, and they they do the trick. They do the trick. When you need it to. Yeah. When you need it to. But uh, you know, but, you know. But all that, sudden, all that know. thing, like how, them, them doing a fucking trick job on everybody and manipulating all these things, like that. I guarantee that was a tactic. Fucking learned whatever trick they pulled. That was came out of MK Ultra for sure. You know what I mean? 
Like that's what yeah. all, all this advertising and every commercial and shit is just straight brainwashing you to buy a product. You know what I mean? That's straight right. out of straight out of MK Ultra fucking program, one hundred percent. Yeah, and then I and then I started noticing um, like real old stuff that I was into, and uh, it was like you know the nine eleven stuff, and like I, I remember seeing that out. And like for the first like six months of like from 9-11 to like six months to a year later, you know, I was like, what the fuck, man? Like this, this is crazy because like, you don't know what to think about it. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Because that was like that, that whole, like uh, the whole version of like, um, like, you know, trauma based mind control. For sure. And then that's, and that's kind of like what I don't know if like, uh, but I don't know if COVID was trauma based mind control though. You know, I know for a fact that like, um, you know, the challenger being blown up, mm -hmm. added on every TV and the kids thing was freaking trauma based mind control. Oh, and 100%. that's, you know what I mean? Cause you're like a third grader going, Oh, Miss Kaufman, what happened? Yeah. You know, I think like, I was in. Yeah, I think I was in fourth grade. I remember that shit. Yeah, yeah. Third wheeling, or the grade, fucking, wheeling the TV into the classroom. Yeah, and just being like, oh, mm. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, uh, we're going to watch it. And it just, yeah, it was just teachers so were crying and shit. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, uh, after, like, you know, and then the, the, the trauma, like, so basically, like, you know, 9 11 was like kind of like the trauma based mind control for, like, you know, how it just kind of adds up and then, like, it kind of mm. like, I just, and I go, wow, this is so crazy that this has happened again, you know, like, but, um, you know, to me, it was just, it, it was, it's always been that way as far as the MK Ultra stuff goes. And then you like, actually like look into like how, like they truly like are breaking people. But I, the thing about the, that client list that, um, you know, Con Kanye's like handler, I mean, it's everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's Everyone. I mean, fuck, yeah, it's not surprising at all. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's every, like, people that, like. They control a lot. They control all of them. There's probably just, like, a handful. And from them, there's a, hand, you know, just a handful above them. Yeah, let me see if I can pull it up. Just like, just like. All right. We got a minute oh. on this. So I got his name. Uh -huh. His name is Harley. Pasternak, that's P A S T E R N A K. And his client list uh, on the wiki, it just, it's, uh, they got Holly Berry, Robert Downey Jr., Penelope Cruz. And uh, apparently he's like a personal trainer. And, uh, hmm. yeah. oh, yeah, I see that. Maybe type, type in Harley Pasternak's client list to see if you can like screen share that shit. Yeah, what is what is you on? You're just on the uh the wiki right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me get it up. Yeah, let me get it yeah, up. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. All right, yeah. So Harley Pasternak. Yeah. Personal trainer, motivational speaker. Wiki begging for money. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Noble. He's an Ashkenazi. He's an yeah. Ashkenazi. Yeah. So he has. Yeah, he got that cloak of like, don't talk about me, kind of thing going. But like, um, yeah. No, he, his client list has everyone, and it's like, and it's people that you can. I I feel that you can totally like see have been MK Ultra, and he's just kind of like the guy that like takes care of it at the time, you know. For you know, sure. It's like, oh, he's our handler. Oh, here you go. Yeah. This is exactly his website. Look at these people. Look at these people. Yeah. All the oh, ones, right? Kim Cardi. Yeah. Who's that guy? Grammy. Oh, Jay Z. What? Grammy salute to industry icons honoring Jay Z. I don't know who that is. Yeah. But, you know, he's, uh, you have Adam not Levine, Lena Headley. Okay. Amy Schumer. Yeah. Will Ferrell. Isn't that a bummer? Uh, you have YouTube, <laughs> Bono, Robert Downey Jr. You have Toby Maguire. 
I mean, basically. Yeah, I mean, Katy Perry, Matt all Miller, the biggest, the, Seth big, Rogen, some of the biggest fucking people there are Jimmy in Snowden, entertainment. Paul Judd, who is like 60 something years old, by the way. Paul Rudd? Yeah. There he is. Yeah, he's 60 something. Uh, he's really old. Well, I've got to do this guy's got fucking he's yeah. got everybody. Everyone. He's in Canada. Even the damn scrubs guy. Yeah, the guy. Rick he Fox is. is tan as fuck. He's, uh, Rick Fox is a good looking guy. Look at him, dude, <laughs> huh? You can see where like if like your like your girl on the date, Rick Fox, you'd be like, Oh, go for it. Yeah, I mean, how many times has that probably happened? <laughs> we got Jack Black. Yeah. I mean, ben Bratt, like, he's from San, uh, San Francisco. Oh, he's oh okay. And then you have Common, you know his whole rap career change. Oh uh, yeah, I hate him, dude. Yeah, he does movies now too. You know, it's like so crazy. MIA, I mean, dude, yeah, this is like Gwen Stefani, Val Kilmore, Alo Cool J. I mean, yep. I mean, he's, he's got, uh, he's, he's a, uh, special people, you know, totally. And like, these are all the movies, uh, that he's, you know, fucking guy been, a part, been a part of, yeah, with it. Oh, yeah, the spirit. I love you, man. Yeah, like, you know, like, and you can see where, like, these people, you know have to go through him and do all the things look how they're all just having a good time right there oh yeah oh yeah you're telling me this guy's Hard a yeah. trainer all good it makes you think yeah well rihanna her big head look at that head dude just boop. her mother I think Nick he's Club. in the uh, uh, Bohemian Club. Oh, yeah. It's crazy, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mac Miller. Mac Miller's dead now, right? Sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, man. I put in. I, I, for a long time, I didn't pay attention to much in, in the entertainment world and everything just because of how controlled and brainwashing it is uh, yeah I've kind of been getting re- right. back into it recently <laughs> but um i missed yeah. a lot of stuff you know and i miss yeah i mean i just pick i you know i just pick up on it kind of like as like a thing like i said no, I just totally. so, okay i've just been so isolated with like what i've been doing so much so that like that like when i go like you know when i when i have like more time to like concentrate on like stuff that just keeps my like you know this guy's whole thing is just like oh okay like you're telling me this guy work it yeah for sure hi no he just looks like he's just a regular yeah. dude to me yeah just, but i think this is all mk ultra though you know what i mean yeah no doubt this is all mk ultra for sure i mean just too- a you know, people don't put in just how many people he's worked with and in contact with. Like, you have to think he's more than just this fucking nutritionist who gets people in shape for movies or whatever, you know? Right. You, you know, know obviously he's great. not going to be hit, you know, they're re- he's not going to have enough title as handler. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Harley. <laughs> yeah. Harley. Harley has changed my life not only to feel better than ever, but I now have guilt-free pizza oh what's that right hold on guilt-free pizza wow yeah. anytime hmm. and that made me blah, blah, blah. who's that jessica simpson yeah i mean that you know that's always like surprised me so much when when you see like somebody that has like you know like you know, a career where it, it would seem like they made like a lot of money and then all of a sudden they, you know, they blow out their body and they're all like chubby and no longer good look. 
You know what oh, I mean? Man. And I always I go, love, well, what I happened? I love that shit. <laughs> I go like, what happened? You didn't, you know what I mean? Like, you you obviously can afford the best out of life, you know? Yeah. What do they call just that? Just have they everything. Call that, they call that like a short in front. And then you see them and they're just all chubbed out. You know, you're just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I've been Shaq's part of the client list too. You know, like how he just recently went from like, 400 pounds to like you know 310 all yoked out Probably. again at 50 they're all but they're also all on steroids too which like it would be nice oh. to get it no doubt nice. you know yeah what do you what do you think what do you think about <laughs> i hate to take this so fucking far away from like you know the topic is what, what do you think what do you think about steroids and in, in what they've been saying lately about like the the coalition between uh, men from you know a generation or two ago having like double the amount of testosterone like people have now and it's because well it's because uh of the steroids you think no, plastics the stuff that they put in oh, oh just oh okay yeah, yeah. just be, okay yeah you're just saying birth control yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah you know no for sure i thought you're uh i just kind of yeah. misunderstood what you're saying you know what do you think of that stuff i mean that that always like surprise. That always surprised me, you know. Like, there's this guy that just came out. He just made like a movie, and he, he's like, his old testosterone's a fucking poison. Men, uh, it's like toxic poison in men. And you're just like, excuse me, dude. Like, yeah. What do you think? Like, what do you think about that? Like, you just go, dude. I mean, I, I fucking, I have no clue. It's fucking, it's weird how it's gone down. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. Right. You know, it's definitely like it used to be like a thing to be like a, you know, big tough guy or whatever. It's definitely not what like you're supposed yeah. to be anymore. Right. I mean, you know, you think that, but then like, you know, if you have like nephews or something, I got like nephews and they're all just kind of like hard ons, you know what I mean? They're, they're at the gym like every single day hmm. just or just one's at the one's a gym rat the other one's like a freaking like you know uh like a kind of like a lady killer and the other one's kind of like just like working on becoming like a welder and welding and building stuff but it's just like that's but that, cool. i guess that's not all kids now or something it just seems like you know yeah, i don't know one's like a meathead one's like a lady killer and the other guy's like just like you know hasn't quite figured out either of those two things you know what i mean but he's mm -hmm. but he's like welding and doing shit you know what i mean it's like being he's, more of a worker yeah well he'll probably be the more successful of them depends but the I mean, uh, steroids dude, dude. but with the steroids thing though or you, that, is that not connected to what we're talking about oh stero uh, well all those actors aren't like the raw oh. Okay, we change this. We change this. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, but it's okay. just like, it's just, yeah. Because okay, now, yeah. Like, let me throw that. I was confused. I'm still, still picking up the pieces because I'm like, what does steroids have to do with this now? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> because, well, obviously, obviously that guy gives those people drugs, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but the, and it's the, and he probably gives those people like uh, his client. He because what kind of drugs do you think he gives his clients? I mean, whatever, like it's, whatever. It's, just not, it's basically just not LSD and let me like hypnotize you, right? I mean, he, who knows? It's got to, it's because, because do you know how many things like change your brain? I mean, function? yeah, they, I mean, they don't have to, I mean, dude, yeah, they don't have to do, give people LSD in, anymore right. to do, you know, they, I mean, that's a old, old outdated trick. They have far easier ways to do it. Yeah, they're like, oh well, it makes music play like sound better. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like, I mean, you know, they 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 they're all. I mean, they get trapped in this whole image thing, and now you know, fucking right. dude. The second, I mean, especially, I mean, these poor female actors. The second, you know, fucking, they're not this. Uh, I mean, they've been getting fucking ch on the chopping block for the entire Hollywood history when they get old or fucking out yeah, of shape. Yeah. Well, what I'm trying, to say, you know what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is like, do you know the amount of stuff that like changes your brain function in terms of like that you can buy over the counter for like, for like uh, common colds? 
It's like Mucinex on the bottle says. <laughs> oh yeah, don't drive and shit. Well, no, it says that it it literally the reason why Mucinex works and doesn't work on other people. Some people swear by it, and other people don't. Mm -hmm. Is because Mucinex like literally like shuts off a part of your freaking brain. No it's shit. crazy. So like it shuts off a part of your brain so that like your brain doesn't cough. Like, <clears throat> you know, mm -hmm. that's what well, has nothing to do with clearing your airwaves or making loosening, the go away. loosening your uh, fucking phlegm. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't know that. No, dude, that, but th see, like the more you like, the more you like research, you're like, they sell that shit over the counter and that's, deemed safe oh, right so right. it shuts off a part of your brain when does it come back on <laughs> right when it wears you off. know what i mean so yeah. so like and what when, else what else can they shut off with a pill boom yeah yeah or just yeah. like so like i'm just saying if like if they have like over-the-counter like medication that like makes the part of your brain shut off so so that like you don't annoy your neighbor or like your co-workers you know totally. like uh, uh, how and you imagine feel like yeah, go home, get out of here. You're making everyone weirded out. Just imagine the kind of stuff that they're like just they're just like all, oh, this is this is kale smoothie, and they just give it to you, and you're just like all, yeah, you know what? Like uh, you know, riboflavin. Oh yeah. You know, any of those things can have that kind of properties. It's just like the whole fucking fluoride thing, you know. Right. You know, yeah, dude. you know, right. was full, you know, it's the fluoride is you know, is it uh, main ingredient of fucking, uh, yeah. what was it? <laughs> was it, uh, what the hell was the fucking drug it was supposed to be fucking in? Fluoride? Yeah, it makes you all fucking docile. A happy drug. Um, fuck, I can't. Serotonin uplifter drug, is that what you're talking about? No, it's like, it's not popular anymore. I don't know, I'm sure fucking people are- Klonopin? No, people be screaming to the uh, screen right now. Lithium. No, uh, really, hold on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I'm just saying that like MK the MK Ultra Canada stuff up there, dude. <laughs> you know, it's like it's it's got to be it's got to be pretty heavy duty what they can turn what part of your brain they can turn off. Totally, and if like they could just, just do, yeah, I mean, dude, they could do anything. I mean, like the most micro amount of LSD can make you just go fucking bonkers. Oh, totally. You know? I mean, and it, you all like every time I I've done it, including mushrooms, like you, you fucking definitely can come out of it. Like a different person, you know, for sure. Like you should at least, yeah. you know, at least have a new perspective and like, try and start fucking because that you know those long come downs when you're just thinking and fucking yeah, yeah. Quest, questioning life fucking yeah you know I've, I've learned you know i fucking had a lot of things come to my awareness fucking you know yeah. hell high and i've you know fucking come up with plans and you know stuck to them right. because of it too you know because it's like dude yeah. this was I got to do it. Like, I remember how I felt when I thought I needed yeah, yeah. to be doing this shit. Like, it was like life or death. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I should, I got to do yeah. it. Yeah. For me, I like, yeah, I'm sort of like that, but it is like, it is like with, uh, with that shit, you can get pretty deep spiritually wise with it. It was just like, which was oh, probably like, sure. super, like with the uh, mushrooms and stuff like that is like, which is the most surprising thing about it. Right. Is that, it totally takes you, and I, I guess I would trust mushrooms more than I would LSD, even though LSD is, from my experience, like over faster, I guess. Um, but like, um, yeah, so, uh, but just, I, I just think you, it because, like it gets you more spiritual. Like you just, you kind of just go fucking dude, like, <sighs> No, I mean, Weird, totally. Right? It's like, yeah. you know, it's definitely a, a, a fucking a, pers a, a new perspective fucking creator. You know a what I mean? Shifter. Yeah, it's a like perspective shift. shifter. Yeah, and yeah. And that's always, you know, it's always good, you know? Yeah. Always yeah, good. yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like, like, what if like, like, ah, guys, I'm so stupid right now. But I'm just saying, what if like in those actors' case, like it's, it's like the drug that they're like being given, like, like shifts them in a good way, like shifts them, makes them feel good, makes their brains feel good, and and it's also like highly addictive. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like it's like highly, highly addictive. Like, like almost kind of like. Have you ever, uh, have you ever met anyone that's ever done masculine or any of that shit? Um, yes. Have you ever done? I, have. it? I haven't. Yeah, I either haven't have I. Either I, have I, I. Just, yeah, I haven't really come across the opportunity to, but I mean, it's all, it's always been something I've wanted to do. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know what it's supposed to be like or how fast it is. Yeah, it all depends on how much time I got. Like, you know what I mean? That's that's my whole thing. That's like kind of the reason why, like, I don't like. Oh, totally. Yeah, read, I mean, you got to read that much because I'm like, well, how much time do I got right now? You know, before I have to like actually focus. <laughs> totally not. It's like, you know, it's like oh, I got to focus pretty soon, so let's just chill. Yeah, but like, um, but for some reason, like, uh, microdosing mushrooms isn't like a problem. It's a fucking weird thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I mean, it's supposed to be fucking great. I've yeah. done it, you know, I haven't done it on like a regiment like a lot of people, but, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, I know, I mean, it makes perfect sense, you know, you just, you take enough where you don't fucking really feel shit and you fucking have, you feel great, you know what I mean? Yeah, and the case, I don't even notice, case, you're not, I don't even think you're supposed to notice like at all. It's like supposed to just, uh-huh. you know? Yeah, you're just supposed to like, you know, not not notice, but you're not supposed to fucking feel anything or like you should kind of like forget that you even took the fucking thing and like remember later. I mean, that's that's what I think anyways. Yeah. Um, I, no, I'm not saying you shouldn't fucking be tripping yeah. every day because, yeah, go for it if you can. Man. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 yeah. But it's like it's like one of those things where you you just kind of like. uh you just go short days, long nights. I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Like, you know, the whole, like, the whole, like, insomniac thing that happens, like, in the winter. For, for me, like, it's just like, I can't stand these short days. You know what I mean? I can't. Like, I need sunshine now. I hate it, man. I hate it. It's like, I hate it. It's, it was like 4.30, fucking, already fucking getting dark, dude. Dude, it's like dark, man. Yeah, it's fucking, I, I hate that shit. Like, for some reason, like, that's like the crazy thing for some reason it's just like i I keep on going man it's gotten darker earlier so fast this year right it just fucking all of a sudden hit yeah is it just because we don't we don't remember or fucking no it's because it's no i remember it and i think there's like clues to the days getting like shorter Mm. in general i think it was like this we had the shortest longest day of like earth's history apparently hmm. like this year huh well when they when they like screwed up changed the calendar and the oh. time because isn't it like it's not exactly 24 hours what what yeah. they say our fucking day is yeah and so just over time you know it's like if you if you're freaking measuring out if you're measuring something trying to have like an inch gap you know if yeah. you're a 30 second off you know, in a foot, you're going to be, you know, how many are you going to be off in a foot? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, somewhere else is just going to be so, fucked up. You know, so like, and maybe it's just compiling now and just like, yeah, it's on maybe, is it only going to keep getting shorter and shorter as a thing? Are they going to have to somehow well, change it, you know, for, do some change to, you know, I don't, get it back on I, track? I don't know, you know? Uh, yeah, leap year. Like yeah, man, yeah, extra, yeah, extra so, fucking yeah. And then April's Fool's Day, the the original like first month of the calendar, right? Yeah, right. What? <laughs> yeah, I forgot, I forgot about that. Yeah, you have, yeah. So it's like uh, April, like March, April, May, June, July, August. Sept is six. No, no, seven. 
There's a there's a weird there's there's a weird month like the thirteenth month calendar or something like that. That's a Tartarian thing, right? Dude, or Mayan I'm calendar. Blank. I'm drawing a blank on the calendar thing. Yeah. Like I think let me look it up real quick. I think it's like 13, 13 month calendar. Like it's like the original thirteen colonies. Like thirteen. Friday the 13th, which is coming up. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, January, right? Or do we have one in December, too? Yeah. I don't know if it's in December. I know January for sure. Yeah. You know whose birthday is on Friday the 13th? Who? Jason Voice? Uh, <laughs> nah, Donald Duck, bro. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. The uh, 13th month calendar derived by Augusta Con Conte in 1849. It was based on a 364 day year, which includes the one or two blank days. The Abbe Mastronofini in an Italy Roman Catholic priest had allowed 15 years before. Each of the 13 months had, each month had 28 days. That's what's so crazy, man. But oh. I think that's, yeah, but I also think that's a Mayan calendar. I'm a calendar encyclopedia. So we're supposed to have like 13, man, but we got 12 and they did it all weird. What was his name again? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to his, pull it up for the fuck. Auguste. Uh, Comte, C-O-M-T-E. In 1849, the gold rush, dude. I know, I was just thinking about that. Oh, yeah. When Jesus beat Ka 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 I don't know. Are you looking it up right now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or are you just on his fucking wiki? Oh, yeah. Get his ass up. What are you drinking there, water? Yeah, just water this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to fucking, I had to edit or cut out fucking like an hour and a half from our last video because I was just slurring too fucking bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. I'm dead fucking sober tonight. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Augustus. Xavier is his name, huh? Yeah, so French philosopher. Or his dad's name. France. I mean, there's no one who's just, I mean, why can't we just be like, you can't just be a philosopher anymore. You can. Um. So what were you saying about him again? I oh, guess the 13, month, the, the 13 month calendar. Yeah, let's see what he's yeah, yeah. looking at. What's Brazil? this shit, that utopian? It is uh, Brazil. Uh, um, order and progress in the flag of Brazil is inspired by Augusta Comte's motto of positive, positivism. Science. So he's a utopian. He's a utopian dude. Sociology. The religion of humanity. The law of three stages. What's that about? Let's see, Comte was agitated by the fact that no one had synthesized physics, chemistry, and biology into a coherent system of ideas. So he began an attempt to reasonably deduce facts about the social world from the use of sciences. Uh, through his studies, he concluded that the growth of the human mind progresses in stages, and so must societies. He claimed the history of society could be divided into three different stages, theological, metaphysical, and positive. The law of three stages and evolutionary theory describes how the history of societies is spilt into three sections due to new thoughts on philosophy. Comte believed that evolution was the growth of the human mind splitting into stages and evolving through these stages. Comte concluded that society acts similarly to the mind. 
The law is this, that each of our leading conceptions, each branch of our knowledge, passes successively through three different theoretical conditions, the theological or fictitious, the metaphys metaphysical or abstract, and the scientific or positive. Huh. That's interesting, man. Yeah. Hmm. What's that about kings? Uh, right it says, uh, uh, to which all classes of society oh, just contributed, and of which kings themselves have been the first agents of most eager promoters. Oh, I see, hmm. I see. People themselves have the ability to produce the new system, the pattern shown. Wow, dude. This guy, you got to go into a little bit. Yeah, so he's pretty much saying that the kings write book in the history or the mythology. Well, yeah. Ah, universal rights and freedom with the final stage. What's the final stage? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I was on that paragraph, you motherfucker. Oh, uh, where? Uh, right there. Right here, right the there. first stage? It says the no the this one? the third of the third and final stage the positive states uh, Comte takes a stand on the question how should the re relation among philosophy and science oh, I history see. Science? I see right okay now. he says this uh, his but that but that history is the method of rights Comte finds that these stages can be seen across different societies across yeah I bet there's more to this guy than. Hmm. I bet yeah. there's more to this guy. Like we who? Should, like does uh, it have like who he's uh, who studied after him? Who was like his famous like student or anything like that? Um, no, they don't. Usually they have like uh, you know. Yeah, they'll show. They'll like have their little fucking. Like this guy uh, also. Students. Yeah. French philosophy. I bet it's like all those. For 1849, though, was the calendar. I mean, that, that's interesting. Let's see where we get to that. That shit on him. Oh, it doesn't even fucking come up. Predictions. What are uh, no one this? What he has a prediction here. Let's read his prediction real quick. It's down uh, at the bottom. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. Prediction. Auguste Comte is well known for writing in his book, The Positive Philosophy, that people never learn the chemical composition of the stars. This has, been call, this has been called a very poor prediction regarding human limits in science. In 30 years, people were beginning to learn the composition of the stars through spectroscopy. 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 Okay. You didn't sound like you had a lot of faith in other people, huh? No. But I bet there's like, let's see. What else? Go down a little bit. The biography. So, there's so a biography I'll, about it. Oh, he starts talking about. So he's talking about like building societies. Yeah. This could be like fucking how they fucking did it. Could be something to it. It says to con to continue building a strong intellectual society, comfortably, comfortably believe the building reformation requires intricate steps, blah, blah. First, the society must be created after the old society is destroyed because without destruction, no adequate conception could be formed of what must be done. Essentially, a new society cannot be formed if it is constantly hindered by the ghost of its past. Wow. <laughs> On the same terms, there'll be no room for progress if the new society continues to compare itself to the old society. If wow. humanity does not destroy the old society, the old society will destroy humanity. Wow. Fuck, dude. I mean, that explains why it's been completely fucking erased and changed. Right. I mean, it, you, you know, they had to right. fucking start. They had to start new as part of like this fucking ritual. They can't, they can't you know? tolerate it. Yeah, I mean, it's just because, dude, it's already like putting ripples in in the fucking narrative, dude. You know what I mean? Like, right. And and we're not the first people to be questioning the chronology of our time. You know, it goes way back, but we don't hear about any of them. No one ever hears about any of them because they get buried. 
On the other mm-hmm. hand, if one destroys old society without ever replacing it, the people march onwards towards total anarchy. If the society is continuously chipped away without being replaced with new ideal societal structures, then society will fall deeper back into its old faults. So basically, he's just reiterating, you have to completely start over. Can't be hindered by this past. Other, because, dude, like this past we talk about is so much better than it is now, in my opinion. You know? And if everyone knew that, it, you know, fucking everyone believed that it would completely fucking destroy everything well dude let's like isn't that like when i hear that i go oh what what a strange interpretation of it though because like what is acceptable to them what is just destroyed like whether sure when did it start happening did it start happening when they the government started educating kids did it start like did it start happening when you know, um, the civil war did, you know, did it start happening? I don't, I think, I mean, that's been, that's what we've, that's been one of the number one things we've all been trying to figure out for sure. Is when did, when, you know, did it happen when things went from like two real tape to analog? Like, you know, remember that discussion? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, it doesn't sound as good. You idiots. What are you doing? You got to play it live, be on two inch tape. It needs the yep. natural reverb. And then it's just like, I think it's cheaper this way. They're like, all right, we're doing totally. it. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now people like record on that, put records out from their iPhone recordings. Dude, they really do. Mm-hmm. I got a, like, I had a buddy that's always like, oh, come on, play on it. And I'm like, God. Yeah. It's just, but, like, I'm a dinosaur. I'm like, yeah, no, totally. just in a room. Yeah. Yeah. But fucking, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I jump around all the time on, when I think like this, this big major one of our, of our society, you know, of, of our people when it happened, you know, and I go from like the 1930s, you know, to, mm-hmm. uh, you know, back to, you know, I bounce around, you know, all kinds of different years because shit, man, it, it, a lot of it does make sense. Well, like you say. but see, that's it. But that's, but that's also kind of like the strangest thing about like having like the secret societies, like the Masonic societies and the Rosicrucians and all them, like use like the pyramid system. Like maybe they are holding on to the old world, and that's what makes this chaos happen. You know, mm-hmm. it's tough. Well, I mean, it's t- well, I mean, we're definitely creating chaos. Um. You know, in the in the timeline and in the narrative, one hundred percent. This is guy again, Augustus Comte. Yeah, this is this is homeboy. Um, I was thinking. He looks uh, like a reasonable man. <laughs> Indeed. He looks like he yelps every now and again, you know. So, today's date in the positivist calendar is Thursday. Bit chat four two thirty four. What? <laughs> Yeah, dude, we got to look. We got to. Uh, How to calculate that, dude? Yeah, let's see. I mean, should we just go into it now or again? Yeah, let's check out. I mean, he's interesting enough to like poke around at. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, just think of like, I wonder if like, uh, when did I think Big Ben was like also like erected and put into right around that calendar? I mean, this look just goes to show what we were saying. Like, he his proposal for this was 1849 like you know people have been trying to fucking change our fucked up shit you know Mm -hmm. we're not the first people you know and you know why i've never heard of this dude why have i never heard of this dude well because it it takes a while for to dig him up 10 years after that big ben came into 1859 big ben was uh completed but i bet you it start how long do you think it took them to build big ben you think uh they probably big said ben. like fucking they're all three months. hours yeah they all took us three hours we got it dude i can't fucking deal with reading this fucking page right now yeah like some of the stuff gets really when did they start building it some of bitches oh, they did I'll, go, I'll, I'll look that up yeah. Uh, Big Ben. Um, 
Interruption. <laughs> no, not the contracting company. That's presumptuous to call your contracting company Big Ben. <laughs> Hopefully the owner's name is Ben and he's fucking midget. Like, just like, he's like fucking like a big world small people or something like that. The guy that had that like excavating company. Remember that on TV? Yeah. Yep. All right. So again. 1843. Uh, old palace was destroyed in the 1834 fire. Construction. Of the okay. Yeah. Beginning. So 1843. Uh, Completed in 1859. Yeah. That took him quite a while. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. It's a at least a little more realistic. Yeah, I mean, Oops. the most, the highest of mind control operating like system. Greenwich time. Right? That's what... It is kind of a nice building, though. You know, that's so funny. That's kind of like, that looks like, that kind of looks like uh, the Fresno Tower. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know if I've ever seen that one. You just see, look, like, look at these wild-ass cross braces they got on this thing, dude. Uh, oh, it's called Tower District. Come on. Gave me the tower. I mean, wonder what, this isn't even that fucking old, dude. Since fucking buses in it, I'd be scared to go on that fucking scaffolding. Yeah, somebody um, that's just got a shaky hand. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be many. Mm, that's funny. Not the old it is. They have this. They have this old water. I mean, you know, they're they're in fucking farm country, dude. You know, so yeah, because they're 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 always they're, bad. They're really dealing with. I mean, they're part. You know, they've benefited from, you know, these the lake diversions into reservoirs for. You know, that's another program too. Fucking, they got programmed into fucking buying into all that, and now everyone's being programmed that the drought's like some thing when it. It's their man-made yeah. fucking. It's their man-made lakes that are drying up, you know. But yeah, I mean, like, it's when not. You drive, it's because yeah. they're fucking man-made lakes. They just fucking were like rambunctiously doing. They're like, this is a giant fucking canyon, perfect yeah. to just dam up and fucking fill with water. I forget. I forget the name of the lake that's like on the way over Hecker Pass right there. Uh, I want to say San Pedro, but that's not it, is it? No, San Pedro's more by uh, yeah Yosemite. Yeah, this. Let's see. It's like some, but anyways, they have, they have like uh, the Korean War Memorial out there. At Hecker Pass. Stopped, but it was raining like crazy. Yeah, check out. Uh, what were you going to oh, check yeah. out just now? The drawing. Oh, I found. Uh, here, I found a funny Big Ben fucking uh, construction. Oh wow. Ew. Is that thing in the way of that? Uh-uh. Um, yeah, dude. This is uh, them construct. <laughs> this is a construction of it. Where's the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess. So they're sawing logs here. This guy's just carrying one. This guy's a paddle. Paddling. Oh, I mean, well, I'm not. Let's see what it says. Big Ben, the clock of North and the Palace. Okay, so is that the palace scan? Right? So the staging for the new bridge as well as the show. What's this? It looks like look at those people walking up there, like it's all good, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what is it? <clears throat> what are they doing? Look at the, Ro the Roman stuff right there because this is the thing they're Archie. building over here that must be like an aqueduct bro yeah i mean maybe 
maybe they're that's uh you know a crane like freaking warehouses have those moving cranes you know that they can drive right. up and down all the steel shops and shit right uh, that's, that's interesting fucking yeah well, you know these guys are in this boat but like oh this <laughs> is a water this is a water right here oh this guy's literally paddling that's a that's how he has a paddle maybe huh <laughs> <laughs> anyways what was the fucking uh the fresno tower you're saying yeah the go to the fres the old fresno water tower uh, fresno uh let's go check this let's, out let's earth it bro oh yeah look at that space space oh, watch out it's curved like Tahoe. The last Is that where we oh, were yeah. last time, huh? I guess maybe. Oh wow. Uh, I remember. That's where we left off. Tahoe, <laughs> you're freaking this is good. It looks so cold out of there. There it is. Look at that. Boom. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Look at that little. Area right there, the Fresno City Hall. There, look at that. Little pyramid. Yeah, look at that. Fresno's uh, interesting town. I, I definitely remember seeing a lot of brick stuff. Yeah, yeah. Look at that pyramid. You're telling me the water tower. What was it doing there? It looked like no water tower to me. Go on the street level or something. Eighteen ninety four. Wow. Huh. It almost looks like a lighthouse. Um, his design was influenced by the Great Chicago Fire of eighteen seventy one. The fire destroyed the Chicago Public Library, but not the Chicago Water Tower which then acted as a temporary library. <laughs> really? Wait, after the fire, they used the fucking water tower as a library? Shouldn't yeah, they have fucking wa shouldn't there be water in there? Yeah. At the cost of uh, 20,000 So I bucks. guess there's supposed to be a library in it. American Water Landmark, American Water Works Association. Fresno County is which is second. Was floor was yeah. it? No, they had a floor that they removed. Huh. huh. Romanesque architecture. Checking, of those are the, checking those are all the, the boxes. Oh, look at the inside. Holy shit. Wow, dude. Yeah, this thing's all brick, dude. <laughs> wow, dude. That's cool. Wow. Drink Look down. at that. Energy. Stored energy. Oh, yeah. And now, but look at the outside, though. Okay. And they said there was another you know, floor that they had is, on it. These are not blocks. This is facaded. Yeah. Facade, facade block there obviously and this is just fucking stuck up make it it like yeah, half plaster. looks like a calf castle again yeah wow dude that is pretty sick in there yeah, that, that old world around it <laughs> fucking hey dude look at that that's awesome those bricks huh So that's all fucking. Yeah, but like, what about yeah, that courthouse? Okay. Okay, fucking... What about City Hall looking like a pyramid like that? Yeah, let's get back there. I'm stuck on this fucking thing. All right. Oh, I knew this was going to be the fucking courthouse. <laughs> I yeah. knew it just looking at it. Fucking that was going to be the fucking courthouse. And, oh crazy. yeah, I mean, I'm sure the original fucking Fresno courthouse was probably awesome. Look at that little but deal. This is the oppressive courthouse. Yeah. 
come in here. Look at that little thing on the other side. There's probably like another, probably they probably moved it from there to this place over here. They connect. Oh, there's yeah, probably there's two of them. There's tunnels. So we have yeah. to see this fucking weird ass city hall. Dude, it's so crazy. In Fresno. Two pyramids. Wow. Or one, that little... or one, one pyramid with the fucking butt crack yeah. in the middle. Interesting, huh? Fresno just with its thing. Hmm. Two thousand modern futurist. Oh, there's not Erickson. much. Right, you'd think something like that. There's really no info about it. Ah, oh, here's like an obituary for the dude. Look at that. Oh, so, oh, yeah, here. I mean, this is fucking just funny. Uh, so, what do you think about what you said? Uh, my response is that I admire the building's bravery and breaking from the tradition of neoclassical and bow art styles overused for civic building in the United States. Breaking the mold. Hell yeah, dude. But I mean, this is, bow arts uh, style explains like, um, you know, a ton of the Tartarian buildings that people talk right. about, you know, like right. it's a, it was a, you know, an actual style that, they, you know, they just claim, you know, they made it up and claimed, claimed it's it. like all United Nations -y and shit, dude. In totally. Huh. What in the living fucking got them. What's the side of it look like? There's that. I feel like a, wall made out of grass or something i wonder what the other side looks this like thing? what does it look like on yeah you want to see it in real life yeah like from that street view where right here on q street q yeah right there drop us down there look at that two layers two layer street oh the train track oh of course they block it yeah, dude. You think it's not even letting me fucking look up? Huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. I forgot what I was doing there. We still can't fucking. Oh, there we go. Let me just go right in front of it. Hmm. There it is. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty hip, dude. The fucking the uh twin pillars. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's pretty hip. Yeah. Did this is. guy did this guy build uh, anything else? Look at that from that. Yeah, it said something about some Canadian embassy. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's totally, yeah. Of course, the Canadians get fucking come up again. I'm trying. Yeah. So trying two layer, to two layer was the name. Of, was that the name of the old ancient lake that was in California? I don't know. I think so. Look at the, the the square, the water tower, and the other on that other circle right there. I think there probably was another. Oh, here's, this moving. is going to be some good shit. What's that? We got the Hall of Records. Ah, oh, these are all. Look at that. That's like Sheriff's some of Mar office. Martinez is kind of like this too. They, this is all this facade on here. It's like total seventies, sixties or seventies. Like, this is just kind <laughs> of on the, si the side of the building or whatever. Like a jail, huh? I think that was the courthouse. It said this oh. is an interest, interesting little. Uh, 
like crop circle looking thing. <laughs> Try some they should keep stupid the explanation about the. <laughs> I know, dude. Come on, guys. There's a drop, bro. Fucking. Oh, yeah. The Memorial Museum right there. Oh, yeah. The, oh, there's a water tower right there. Right, yeah. Uh, it's pretty regal looking, man. Interesting. Look at that little arrow, the, the airplane right there. That looks pretty cool. Where? To the left, there's an airplane right there. Oh, yeah. Cool. I was just uh, out at the Alameda on the old uh, military base there. Is that an airplane yeah. or a missile? That's a missile. Oh, fucking sick, dude. That's probably, I bet it's a fucking. No, it might not be a Nike missile. That's cool. There's a fucking missile. Yeah. Ha. 24, 33. Uh, Fresno's trippy. It'd be cool yeah. to go back go back there again. Yeah, it's a triangle. Was that the, the uh, baseball field? No, the whole the way the streets are laid out. Right here. Yeah. Is this a, the, yeah, this is center, dude. Yeah, I mean, fucking. Wow. Wonder what, wonder what, how the old maps look. Can you spell? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. That doesn't look that old. Yeah. Uh, I need a fucking better view. Madera. Huh. But that uh is very fucking triangularly zoo. There's always stuff underneath zoos and shit they're hiding for sure oh yeah cemeteries as well yeah in well, what uh fucking wait so you're just down in fresno no i was at the sam tripoli thing yeah dude how was that it was do you want to cool. talk do you want to talk about it yeah i mean it was cool it was uh oh, yeah. I forget what I was like thinking about it earlier, but like, uh, like the minute, like it was crazy. Like we went and stayed at the convention center hotel, which was super cheap. Dude. It was like, we got like it's the only real place to stay in Fresno is there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, as, as we're checking in the people in front of us was Eddie Bravo, Sam Tripoli right. and, yeah. and XP. And, uh, that's cool. Like, like Sam Tripoli turns around and he's like, I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's like, he's like, hey, how's it going, man? I'm like, I'm all, I'm, all, I'm part of the swarm, dude. And he's like, he's like, what? And I'm like, part of the swarm, man. I'm here to see you guys. It's funny that you guys are here. And he's like, he's all, what's your name? And I'm like, you know, I'm like Pat Crowley. And he's like, he's all, huh? I'm all Pat Crowley. And he's like, he's all, let's hug it out. So we hugged, and then Eddie Bravo was there because you know Eddie Bravo is like, like fucking super famous, right? Jiu Jitsu, yeah. Jesus, and like, uh, uh, he's all, where you can't, where'd you come from? I'm like. Uh, Santa Cruz, like, how far away is that? And then we talked, we chatted, and then he's like, he's like, oh, fuck yeah, like, uh, see you tonight. And then so me and Sash, we go up and we chill and, and we come back down. They have like a nice bar at the convention center. So I'm like, oh, let's go mm -hmm. down there before the show and grab some some drinks, you know? So what was crazy, we go back down into the bar, but there's like secret service all over the fucking place hmm. with the little star, the earpieces in. Uh, they had, they had security um, tight. Well, dude, like it was like they had like an ambassador to France. Mm. So, so I'm like sitting at real, the bar. You're talking real Secret Service, right? So I'm like, sit, <laughs> I'm like sitting on. I'm we're sitting at the bar, and then it's like there's two Secret Service behind them, and we're sitting at the bar, and I 
and I did, wasn't even thinking. And I'm like, oh, look at the Secret Service guys. And then these guys were, it was like an ambassador and some, uh, it was just like crazy, man. Like black SUVs pulling up. Shoo, 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 shoo. And uh, we're killing, I was killing a couple of white Russians. I'm a white Russian, stoli, get me it. You know, like, um, and uh, like, uh, finally we're just like, ah, oh, let's just get off the bar. I don't want to be on the bar anymore. So we go and we're hanging out in the lobby drinking and just and then fucking xg comes down it's like hey what's up dude kicking it just totally talking and then eddie bravo comes around kicking he's like oh fuck yeah dude did you guys see that accident da, 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 da. we're just talking for like a good five minutes and then Tripoli comes down and he's like oh hey what's up and then this they're like oh we're gonna head over to the show see you guys over there and that was like i'm like wow that was crazy we we're just chilling out you know what i mean oh yeah 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 it's time and then, in, blow behind and then the in the scenes, morning but... dude then check it out and then in the morning we're like, we're like, we get up and we're like, oh, let's just get out of here. So we, we end up, uh, you know, the, and the show was great, by the way. But um, I, I don't know if you've ever been to a, like a swarm tank. No, I've never, it's, I've it, never gone and seen. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. The co- the comedy is like golden, right? It's like just filthy, dirty comedy. Eddie Bravo doing like, I don't know. He did. It seemed like he did like fucking forty five minutes, forty minutes maybe, awesome. longer. And it was good. He's not necessarily a comedian, but he's funny, right? So, and then uh, XG did about like 10 minutes and then Sam comes up and just like flame throws the room for about like 45 minutes. And he's like, hey, I got to cut my shit short. We got to do the swarm tank. And then 20 minutes goes by. Everyone's taking pictures of them going up on stage and everything. And then the swarm tank starts and they leave a mic out in the middle of the, the center of this brewing company. And, uh, Everyone just kind of starts going up there and everyone's like, oh, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? And then like, you know, of course, so uh, one of the questions for Eddie Bravo was like, hey, man, you turned me on to John Levy, live I Levy. And he's, he's like, oh, yeah. oh, shit. And I'm like, and I'm like, Tartaria. <laughs> and like, so on oh, in the yeah. back, so Tartaria. Nice. And it's just like, you know, Dude. but they're like, it was just, and then it just kind of just starts falling because people start talking about their experiences and they're like, they go, like, oh, Hey, try to make your questions like real, real short. So we get it right. after. But then someone's like, oh, so the other day, like me and my cousin, like this little girl's out there, we were on it. We drove and we had to do a U turn on a dirt road and we seen dog, dog man, this werewolf and blah, blah. No one believes. And everyone's just, you know, she just tells a story and like, uh, you know, it's it's fun. It was it was cool, but then that's cool, and in the morning we get up, we get ready, take showers. We get, we're like fuck. Let's go down there and grab some breakfast because I, I went down and grabbed coffee like right when I woke up, and then came back up there and hey, I think they have a buffet down there. Let's go. And so she's like, all right, let's go down there. And then uh, we get down there and uh, we're like, oh, the buff- the buffet is for like like some volleyball tournament that's going on. So I'm like, oh really? All right. Um, damn, they denied you, huh? They denied you the buffet. I told them, I told them, like, I'm the most valuable volleyball player. I don't know why you guys can't recognize me. They're like, oh, you know, whatever. And then, Arch like, we cry. go sit down. What? Oh, yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm Your car, yeah, yeah. So then we go into we go into the other little area and we're like, we go up to the hostess to sit down. And then they sit us right down next, I swear to God, they sit us right next to the French em, uh, ambassador. And the whole crew again, like right behind them, and the Secret Service guys, like this dude that's like, like two sixty, bald, fucking, just like his eyes get all big again, and we like just smile, like it's not, it's not us, and then fucking kick it. We order breakfast, and then right when we get done with breakfast, like I see XG fucking popping around down there, and I just go fuck, I don't want to bother these guys again. And then Sam Triple is like, oh yo, what's up? Good morning. And I'm like, oh, what's up? Like, uh, uh, guys, just, guys, classic, dude. That's cool. I mean, classic. he seems like a fucking normal guy out in. Uh, oh, he's, he's like one so of those dudes cool. that has like so much, like so much energy that, like, like, like yeah, I get, he has a lot of energy, dude. Like, he's loud, he's abrasive, he's Armenian, dude. So it's like you're gonna get what you get from an Armenian dude that's like flame throwing rooms, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool, fucking, you know. A lot of it was a fun time. That was a fun night. time. Yeah, it was awesome a fun time, dude. man. Cool. Was it yeah, just I the mean, one one night, the one night of show, or was it two nights? No, just in one night, and they, one I think night. they're just doing like little runs, like of small towns, because uh, they did Calusa at a at a uh, 
Mini huh. Casino the night before. And yeah. this XG was saying that it was like fucking. They're like, oh, dude, we weren't. Ex- we kept on like looking at the. He's like, we don't like looking at the ticket sales because then like we expect, we expect, but then when we get there, there was like a line. There was like 400 people at that one. And then this one was like sold out. And, uh, but it's just like, you know, it's, it's fucking people, you know, Fresno, man. It's like, okay. like at some, at some point you're like, oh, this is who I'm fighting the, the new world order with right here. These are like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like looking around you're like, ah, we might I mean, make it. They're definitely but, more on our side than yeah, well, you start other around, side. You know, we might, but you know, it, it seemed like a lot of, it, at some point I was like looking and like the dude, all the dudes were like, yeah, you know, but then like everyone that bought their chick, their chicks were like, oh, you know, cause yeah. after a while, like it, it gets, you know what I mean? It's pretty hectic yeah. to get. Totally. I could see that. Yeah. You know, so I don't, I mean, like, it's like, they always say it's like a hot conspiracy theory chick is like seriously like a unicorn. There's only like three <laughs> in the whole world, you know? Yeah, totally yeah. i don't know but like uh it was it was all good it was good it was, was good. there any I mean, uh anyone fucking try and heckle or did, was it uh it was no no i mean like um it was like no i don't think anyone is like at i mean the people that were asking questions like they were uh they all seemed like it was like they were still like in like uh tartaria 101 you know Oh, for sure. Where I was just like, I'm like, come on, what the fuck? Someone, and they were like, they were like, they were kind of like, uh, they were kind of like, uh, like kind of, they weren't like into talking about Tartaria at all, like on stage. Like it was just like, yeah, man, there's a, you know, I think they said like that's the most interesting thing of everything is that, but they don't really talk about it on stage. They talk about fucking Hillary Clinton, Michelle Obama having a dick, yeah. you know, that whole thing, you know, which totally. is hilarious. That's totally. like, I mean, that's ah, great. Yeah. <laughs> great yeah. stuff. You know, I mean, it's all yeah, fucking. Yeah. Actually, but, someone fucking, uh, who was it who told me fucking, oh, have you heard the newest thing on TikTok about Michelle Obama? And I was like, nah, what's that? I'm like, oh, everyone's fucking, they found the, uh, I guess someone found the picture. You know, it's a, it's the picture that we've all seen forever of her. Yeah. yeah her with the shave you know the shaved head, yeah the young picture of michael. michael robinson you know yeah i guess so that i guess that picture was just rediscovered by the tiktok world you know and they were tripping yeah, yeah. on it people were tripping yeah. on it and i was just laughing i was like man i mean shit dude i remember you know that's an old one i mean dude that's well, like that now. it's like fucking uh just what's funny her name how it goes. yeah like uh what's her name that got Called called her up. We all know she's a tranny. Fuck, everyone knows. Oh yeah, she's Joan a Rivers. Man. Joan, Joan Rivers. Rivers, and then like a week or she, two later, she dies. No, yeah, she <laughs> said uh, they asked her when she thought there's going to be a uh, when we're going to have a gay president. And no, we like, got one. And right she's now. all, yeah, we she's all we. So what are you talking about? We already got one. They're all, huh? And she's like, oh, you know, fuck, and Obama. He just said drops his name and everything. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, she, knows she, uh, yeah, and she apologized. Or she goes, everyone knows uh, uh, Obama's gay or something like that. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, she she re- apologized about it or whatever and then died in plastic surgery, dude. Right. <laughs> yeah, something later, where they were just like, doing, like, Botox or something? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah. I, um, I don't know if it was that simple, but. Yeah, but it was cool, I think man. It was. Like, it was it was plastic surgery, you know. Fucking yeah, yeah, something simple, nothing major. But that was it, man. Like it was a, uh, it was cool. But, but it was also fucking raining, and I don't really like IPA beers. Uh-huh. Do you like IPAs? Um, I don't. I don't really drink that much beer, but yeah. like, I don't. If I was to order beer, I wouldn't like it not my first choice definitely not it just the bar. makes me tired man when i drink them i'm like fuck dude totally it's either you know, like yeah it gets me it crashed nerd. out or it gets me obliterated like real fast yeah i don't like, like I racer don't fives me. dude after after two racer fives like the third racer five you start to lose the flavor of it and everything you know yeah, yeah, and after, like on the fourth one you're just pounding them dude and then, and then you're obliterated yeah, yeah. Is it just like it's not my flavor? It's just like I don't like the taste of hops. Like you know, I like I like Pilsner and 
like ales, but and, yeah, totally. And British dark beer, but like fucking IP, dude. How they ever become popular is beyond my fucking belief, dude. Like, you know that that would just be like, oh, hey, there's just one beer. And IPAs are like notoriously <laughs> horrible, like considered the worst beers of of all beer. And I just don't know how like every company is now like IPAs are the best. What that's what beer's supposed to taste like. You're like, oh, no, dude, beer's supposed to taste like fucking how they make it in Germany or how they make it in Mexico. Yeah, well, the Mex- they make it Mexico, Mexico, Mexico yeah. learned it from the Germans, dude. Oh yeah, the Zimmerman message, dude. Yeah, I mean the Mexican beer is. Just bring, up, bring up, bring up the Zimmerman, bring up the Zimmerman message. Do you know what that is? The Zimmerman message? No, I don't think so. What yeah, is, look uh, that up, man. Uh, what is it? It's a, uh, it's uh it, it was like Germany during World War Two, where it's just like y'all, yo Mexico, oh, the, you sick, you sick of this fucking America always telling you what to do? Is it join uh, us the, and the Zimmerman yeah. code? I think. Code or message or something like that. Yeah, We're but gonna, like that's uh, my that's my whole theory about like, yeah. Oh, there's yeah. I, it's it's my whole theory about like the Germans going. We'll give you our uh, brewery secrets, and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden Japan has good beer, and like Mexico has good beer, and then all <laughs> those places have good beer. Like and it's all <laughs> that German. was part of the selling point. Yeah, it's just go. We'll give you uh, just uh, you guys like beer. They're like, we love beer. Why? And I go, we'll give you the the recipe because it like the the German beers that was like uh, in Germany that was like a that was like one of those things where like if you have a German recipe, um, it was like considered like a really valuable like a recipe, kind of like the kind of like how like you know you have Anheuser Busch and Busch mm-hmm. beer and like all the all the big breweries Mil, milwaukee breweries they're all like super german you know oh yeah 100 100 dude i was fucking there's some great fucking german beers great, I, one of the nope. fucking touring over in europe is always killer because you're just gonna get all these cool beers that you never even get over here and they're like they'll be like oh that's like piss that's that's the Budweiser of Germany, and my fucking tastes killer, dude. Yeah, dude. You know, you know what's so funny. You know who has like good. You know who has like a whole section of German beers, and they're always like, like a six pack for like six bucks of German beer is like Trader Joe's because they're all like stashed. If you go in there and you just like uh-huh. look, you look, and they have like a section, and no one buys them. I'm like, I always go in there and I go, dude, does anyone buy this? They're like, nah, no one really. And I'm like, I'll take two fucking sixers of it, and it's like, yeah, you're out of there for like. 15 bucks and you're just like drinking German beer hmm. and it's really good. Okay. Pilsner is really good. It's been a minute. That's my beer. Since, it's been a minute since I've uh, gone to the Trader Joe. Yeah. I, I used to, I dipped out like all, like all through uh lockdown. I, I didn't go for like two and a half years. I just recently started going back, but I, I just dipped out completely. Oh God. They had like really restrictive like mask mandates, and they'd only they had like lines. You had to like stand in before they'd. Oh yeah, like, dude! I remember going there after the shutdown originally, and yeah, like, like people so like made you. Yeah, like, and oh, then dude. you had to go the right way, fucking. Yeah, but yeah, and I, and I was just thinking. And I was, yeah, and I was thinking the whole time I'm on Kamal. Yeah, it's gonna take so long to get in and out of here. My vegetables are already gonna go bad. <laughs> Yeah, because dude, because yeah, because you know it's fucking those vegetables. You put them on your counter for like five minutes. You come back, you go, what the fuck? My peach is moldy, dude. Yeah, doesn't like when I left the store. That's what you get for organic. I don't even know if they are organic. Are they? No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking shit. (laughs) You know, like I, I go up to this, I go up to this farm up the road, Everett Family Farm up the road, and it's just, it's not always the best. But like you know, it's there. Yeah, I mean, dude, you're in the middle of it out there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like you get like yeah. you get fresh farm eggs. They stick like a duck egg in there every now and again. And you're like, it's like this big. You're like, oh, I'll get it. You know? Yeah, hell yeah. When we were working on that TV show in Watsonville, the the Chevron on the the uh, you know corner right by us, they had 
fresh strawberries like every day and get like a flat. I think it was like fucking five bucks for like a flat or something like that. It was ridiculous. What movie was that? It was a TV show. Uh, oh. It was called Devs. Devs. Yeah, it was on was it FX. I watched a few. Um, I don't know. I think it got good reviews. The guy right. who made it, the guy who made it did like uh, Annihilation and uh, Ex Machina, which were I thought were kind of interesting movies. Oh yeah, Ex Machina was like yeah. But it's they, about it was like about some develop it was like some developers. It was supposed to, it was like Silicon Valley. Uh, uh, they had some he had some secret. I I don't know. I think maybe time travel was involved. I can't remember, dude. But, oh, it was pretty interesting. It was kind of weird. The dude from. Uh, uh, Parks and Rec, the uh, uh, mustache, I got the mustache. Oh, yeah, that guy was in town? He was the guy, yeah, he was like the main character. Uh, but it was like a serious, it was a serious show, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do, we built all the, um, all the um sets for like the out the outdoor sets and shit yeah like yeah. they shot a bunch up at ucsc like that was uh part of oh, the camp, their campus right and, and we built this huge uh his like secret lab we built like part of it they video they uh cgi'd the rest but that and i was in some field up at ucsc too like no oh, wow yeah, it was funny. There was these park rangers there the whole time, making sure we didn't dig up anything. Yeah, it was, you know, it's all protected shit. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah. How much time we got? Oh, three uh, minutes left. Yeah, dude. Yeah, all should right. we put, should we call it on this one? Sure, why not, man? I think we did about two and a half hours, shit. two hours maybe. Yeah. And yeah, I'm man. not fucking. I'm not slurring my words. Yeah, there Made you go. To the end. That, but it was like rat. That was rad. Right? Like, I yeah, you know, like, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you know, like I forgot like about all that. We were like, we were just flying. We were just flying the the Google Map thing around. We were like all over the place. We were like Crowley Lake. Uh, oh yeah, Mammoth yeah we were Lake. all over. We find shit. Yeah, Maybe no. someday I'll include some of that in a bloopers reel. <laughs> <laughs> that would be rad, I mean, it was my it was my fault. You're you were killer. I mean, we got a uh I mean uh the Jacques Cousteau stuff that we oh yeah. I mean that shit was great. Um, oh my god, we should yeah. definitely get into that more. Uh, yeah, dude. Or Jacques, get into Jacques that Cousteau, again. Like, the more the more Jacques Cousteau stuff that you uh watch, like you know, the like the more you kind of like get in, like it was like such a French mission, dude. It was just like, let's just right. send these guys out that are super popular with everyone and mm-hmm. they'll just be collecting like information and put on TV. Right. Like it'll be like their version of Disney. Yeah. And it's like, prop, you know, propaganda 100%. Yeah. And Rod, St- yeah. But Rod Stewart or not Rod, the guy Rod that did Stur- Twilight Zone, Rod Sterling. Sterling like narrated it for the first couple of seasons. Okay. Yeah. Before the next one, I'm going to watch. Uh, dig in on some episodes and uh, oh yeah dude I'll, I'll i'll go back over like which ones i think are sick and then I'll, yeah that I'll coral ahead. one the coral one was cool that was crazy huh? that was like yeah <laughs> just, just a well that guy got fucking totally killed from his neighbor like eric well yeah right the assistant yeah, yeah. the runaway assistant <laughs> it's just yeah. funny. all right dude all well, right, i'll yeah. catch you next time yeah bro all oh right. yeah what do you do you're going to just Kill go him. off and just go to yeah. black. All right. Later, dude. Talk to you later. Later, bro. Later.